Welcome. We have just shown you all the keyboard shortcuts and also the buttons and the menus to get to the control center. And that's this thing here. Now, the control center has a lot of information, so I'm not really sure how to tackle all this, but I'm gonna start first with personalization. I think that's the first question people will ask. How can I change my icons? How can I change my theme, my cursor and all that? That's in personalization. It's a little bit, um, well, every desktop has its own ways of changing the themes and all that. And this gives us a long, long, long list of all the things all combined in one, uh, well, scroll down. So themes like these guys and icon themes and cursor themes and all that, it's all in one long, long list that you need to scroll down. So the more you install, and you see I have a lot installed, uh, well, all the possibilities, then you need to scroll quite a lot. But it's not that it's not responsive, really. It just scrolls very fast. It's uh, without a glitch, it's beautiful. But the thing is, it's just one long list. Okay, so we could in this video start with using our dark. So we say, okay, let's use the R dark or the R darker or the deep and default. That's what we're we using, I think it was. So R dark as a choice. And there are lots of um, icons you can use. The halo dark is actually created for deeping. So if you click on this, but let's go now all big. So you get this thing, I rather like it to see like this. So this it can be your look, can be your system is the halo icons. Control Alt M, opening up the control center again and going for another one like the Numix circle arc. So it's using the arc folders and the Numix circle icons and the combination is looks rather beautiful. The paper is going to look like this. Papyrus is going to look like this. Sardi is going to look like this. We have developed uh, some more Sardi icons, but there is Sardi Evo Pop, uh, Sardi Flat is there. But I'm looking for the new ones. These are the new ones, the Sardi Flit Flat <laughs> Mint Y Blue. The thing is, these do not change. I mean, the icons themselves do not change. The folders are changing, you see. Everything that's in a, a, a file manager shows folders this way or that way or that way or that way choices of colors so a lot a lot and lots of choices as you can see if you install the the nemesis scripts i install the sadly extras as well which gives us hundreds and hundreds of possibilities even these strange things uh, as well that i guess the white one will be better in this case but um it's all up to your choice it's very very personal uh, you can have all kinds of possibilities. So the only thing you need to do is scroll down and let's go for 444. Why not surf and mint white purple, for instance, or surf and mint my red. Or and there are also some special things. The Fyro, you know, that we've included this in the ISO at some point in time. I wanted to scroll to something called C, I believe. Here it is. C is something that's particularly uh, well particular to deeping. It has some icons. I don't know if we can find some of them that are actually uh, C kind of things here. Print is a C, a crab and, and a turtle, an octopus here and here. So it's an icon theme that's coming from deeping themselves. Okay, so going for surf and arc. Okay doesn't matter. Then scrolling down, we have all the possible uh, icons, well, the cursor icons, choices that we can have left-handed for left-handed people and right-handed people, pretty simple. So, and that's the bottom of the list. So we are really at the very, very bottom and you need, need to choose basically what you want to have. I'm going to go for breeze snow. And uh, that's it. So this is all about, all about theming. That's what we could do. There is maybe something, Control-Alt-M, 
maybe something personalization the transparency that is part of the personalization so if you can if you want to personalize this as well you can and then you see the background become more and more transparent and this is also part of uh, personalization so make it bigger or smaller changing the standard font that i of course put to not a not a fonts like in all of our um, uh, um, desktops and enable window effect sometimes it just um, will not activate again so you need to have some patience i don't think it's uh, it's a virtual box thing when it does not work because on ssd you see it's just this is without effect and then everything becomes transparent you need to wait a little bit and then the slider goes off and then it's time to activate it again and it says enabled you see transparency come back and that's fine everything is okay again so that's this block here about personalization all right have fun